everybody and thanks Holly. Let's have a look at our new tune, Mum's Vexation. You'll notice that we have two E's, two G's, two E's, and the note below E, well that's going to be what comes before E in our alphabet, A, B, C, D, E. So we have E, E, G, G, E, E, D. Now, that kind of makes a funny finger pattern. Watch this, we have um, two E's, two G's, two E's again, and a D. Now to get to D we're going to have to go down to our second string. So we're going to have to move your left hand and your right hand down to the second string. Watch that again and play this after me. E, E, G, G, E, E, D. Can you do that? Ready, go. E, E, G, G, E, E, D. Right. Now, you'll notice that our second line is exactly the same. Let's play that. We have E, E, G, G, E, E, D, and go. E, E, G, G, E, E, D. Now, look at our third line. It looks similar in that it goes up and then back down. It follows the same line or follows the same sort of contour, but we're at a different pitch. Okay, so look at this. B, B, D, D, B, B. And what's this note over here? We have played it before. We played it in the song Surfing. It's in a space, so we're going to use our prompt the spelling of the word face from the bottom to the top, F A C E. Well, let's have a look. That would be an F, this would be an A. Right, but we have this sharp sign in front of it. So that means it's an A sharp or it's one fret higher than A. So there's our A right there. One fret higher will get us an A sharp. Now this is uh, this is a little bit well, a little bit clever, I suppose. Watch this. B B D D B B A sharp. Now it's exactly the same finger pattern that you had in the first two lines, except it's on the next string, the next lowest string away from the floor. Watch carefully again. Here are our first two lines. That's open string, third finger, open string, third finger except on the next lowest string. Then we do that again for our second line. Now our third line, instead of starting on the first string, it starts on the second string. I hope you've got that. All right, play this after me. We'll, we'll go again from the start. We'll just have a little dry run through. So from the start, after me, E, E, G, G, E, E, D, and go. E, E, G, G, E, E, D, second line. E, E, G, G, E, E, your turn. E, E, G, G, E, E, D, third line, second string start. B, B, D, D, B, B, A sharp. Great. Now, you'll notice that we have a repeat sign there. Okay, and we repeat back to the next nearest corresponding repeat sign. So we do those three lines twice. Then we get to this line, uh, these two lines. Now, you might notice these two lines are exactly the same. First of all, you'll notice that they both go down. They both go down from E, so you'll have to know your alphabet backwards. Remember, uh, if this is E, remember what comes before E in the alphabet? A, B, C, D, E, and before D comes A, B, C, 
D and before C comes A, B. So look, uh, watch this. If we go this way, it'll be B, C, D, E. But of course, we're not going that way. We're going from left to right. So it's E, D, C, B. Now, from D to C to B, watch this on my guitar. D is the highest note we know so far on our second string. If we go from D to the next lowest note, that's the next step lower, so that'll be from the D to the next little white dot. That's our next lowest note. So we have two Ds, two Cs, and then we're going one step lower than B, uh, than, than C, so we go to B. So notice as we go lower by step, we just follow, we, we, uh, we lengthen the vibrating length of string. So we're starting with a, a reasonably uh, shortish length of string and make it longer as we uh, as we go down, as we go down lower. And as we go down lower, we're going backwards in alphabetical order. Right. Now, before that, before we do that, we just have our two E's. Now, if you're kind of clever, you could probably work out that, well, if they're all in alphabetical order, watch this, we could go B, C, D. We could play E up here if you really wanted to, and we could do this. E, E, D, D, C, C, D. But we don't quite know that E yet, so let's just stick to the E we know which is our open first string. All right, do you think we can do that? We have two E's. Then we have two D's. Then we have two C's. And going down even lower to our open B. All right, play that after me. Watching, I'll go slowly. E, E, D, D, C, C, B. Then we go again. E, E, D, D, C, C, B. And go. E, E, D, D, C, C, B. Then we have this sign here saying DS Alfine. That means we go back to the sign and we finish there. So in other words, those three lines we repeat, so those three lines twice, these two lines once, then we go back up to the, uh, to the sign here and we play those three lines again and then we finish right there. We don't necessarily finish right at the end of the piece, but we finish there. That is our end. Okay, shall we do that one more time, the whole lot slowly? before we do it with the music. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. So you've got E, E, G, G, E, E, D, and go. E, E, G, G, E, E, D, and next line. It's exactly the same. And go. E, E, G, G, E, E, D, my turn, third line. That's two Bs, B, B, D, D, B, B, A sharp. Back to the start. E, E, G, G, E, E, D, and go. E, E, G, G, E, E, D, and again, E, E, G, G, E, E, D, and go, E, E, G, G, E, E, D, third line, B, B, D, D, B, B, A sharp, and go, B, B, D, D, B, B, a sharp. Now that brings us to these two lines. So remember we start at E and then we go to the D on the so that's on the second string. We're going away from the floor. Two E's, two D's, working our way down towards the note. 
Okay, can you do that? E, E, D, D, C, C, B. Then we do it again because we have one more line. E, E, D, D, C, C, B. And then we go back to the sign before we play it again and finish over here. Okay, so I think uh, we're probably ready to play it with our music now. Okay, here's our little introduction. Finger ready. Third line. 